Dave, what do you think you are doing with the bed? Oh, hey, Catherine. I'm just doing my usual stretch and yawn exercise. You? What? On our bed? Dave, you can't do that. You will end up breaking it. It costed me $300 just for that bed frame alone. And $100 for the mattress. Oh, come on, woman. So what if it costs much? I wanted to do what I want to do. Dave, let me make myself clear. I did not sacrifice my time with you and my money for the catnap doll just so you could break our bed. Okay, I'm sorry. Please don't take catnap away from me. I didn't have that in mind. In fact, I've got someone who wants to see you. Let me guess, it's Donald J. Trump. Better. Hey, give that back. Thanks for the steak, kid. This is pretty good. Of course, Zach. I wanna be like you someday. Well, keep going to school and you'll be on the right track. Hey, Brian, go to your room for me, please. Hey, uh, why do you have catnap? Do what your mom says, okay? Well, okay. A plushie of all things. Why? He sometimes has a thing with childish things, you'll see. And oh my god, that mouth. It's more cursed than that grounded sim game nobody on Steam wanted. Who even manufactured that doll? From Poppy Playtime. Catherine, give me bad catnap. Hey there, Dave. Zach Ethamar Rosemond. The man himself. Yep, you are looking at him. Catherine, I can't even believe you invited some random stranger in our house and not Donald Trump. Why should I invite that orange guy? Not like he is gonna be running for office again anyway. But I want Donald Trump. Wah 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 wah. I want catnap back. Give it back, Catherine. I can't believe this. How old is he? 41. I'll be in the living room with catnap while you talk to him. The last thing I want to do now is talk to him while he is being whiny. No, Catherine. No. Catnap. Catnap. No. You listen to me very, very carefully, Dave. Usually, I wouldn't get involved in family business, but they requested my presence here so they don't have to put up with you today. Whatever I did to my family, I am sorry. You're missing the point. What are you talking about? Grow. Up. Two words I had to learn over time. Two words my adoptive dad taught me. It's a toy. I am not married myself. But for you to have your own wife sleep downstairs on a couch while you snuggle with catnap is downright immature. She looks up to you as a good person. So do your children. Even I wouldn't have Kelly out of my own room. Toys just don't matter. Tug that to the mother who saw you pulling a South Park at a store just because you can't get an iPad. You do not bring her into this old man. She's dead. Besides that is when I was a needy teen. I've grown from that. Get mad kid. While we are on the topic of misbehaving at places, how about bringing a hammer to McDonald's because you got so triggered over an ice cream machine being broken? Did you seriously have to go there? Yes, I did. You don't get to judge me over my stupidity when you literally pulled similar stunts. Okay, okay, fair point. Can I have catnap back now? Maybe not, because you have been spoiled for the past few years. Please, I want catnap back. Why? Fine. I will talk to your wife, but I'll tell you this right now. There is absolutely no need to treat everything like a national issue. If you think having a toy taken away is bad, then think about the millions of people who are suffering here and in countries outside of the United States. And it's not just the pandemic. I've been in many wars. I've seen people dying in every direction. Innocent people, friends, all that. Even I got hurt in wars. Think about that before you even try to act like a four-year-old again. Uh, how did it go? Well, I don't know how to put it. I can safely say though, nobody is perfect. But he really needs someone who can tell him to man up and be responsible for himself. I'll do everything I can. I love Dave. And I really don't want to divorce him. I know. I'm gonna go back home now. Okay, bye Zek. It's an honor having you here. Likewise. Dave, you can have Catnap back, but don't have me sleeping down on this couch next time. Okay, Kathy. Yay. Hey, 
It's Co Multiverse Legacy 394, also known as the Fun Editor 4, and I thank you all for watching the video. If you want to see more of my content, smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, subscribe, and share this video out there. And be sure to check out all the content that is on the channel, along with the two videos which are provided. I'll see you guys on the other side.